Well, lots of community leaders, politicians, and Exxon executives gathered today to mark the start of construction on that multi-billion dollar plastics plant that will soon be going up between Portland and Gregory. Our Michael Gibson was in Portland for the ceremony. We're just northwest of Portland, and as you can see, construction is well underway on this $7 billion petrochemical complex that Gulf Coast Growth Ventures is building here. And guess what? Today was actually the groundbreaking ceremony for this project. Two, one. That was certainly a very unique groundbreaking for this huge project, which now sits in what was once cotton fields. ExxonMobil joined together with Sopic to build this plastics manufacturing facility. It's going to employ some 6,000 construction workers, along with 600 new and permanent jobs on site once the work is completed. We have got a great way of doing business. We've established relationships with our contracting community. We took Sobic and ExxonMobil and we merged the very best people together to have a world-class project team. San Patricio County Judge David Krebs was also excited to finally see this groundbreaking take place. You know, this is a regional effort that we did here to get Exxon in here. And it's going to help everybody out. Gregory, Portland are going to see the big benefits of it, the carpets, and all the surrounding communities are going to see benefits from the Exxon. Another interested party in this huge project is Corpus Christi Mayor Joe McComb. He says in a few years, the city will start seeing some $50 million in taxes rolling in from just this project alone. He also let us know that lately there have been several companies looking at putting in billion dollar projects of their own right here in our area. But, uh, hopefully before the end of the year, we might hear another one or two announcements uh, for this area. But, uh, you know, you don't want to you don't want to over excite yourself, but we're, we're we're very optimistic at this point. That's not too surprising to hear that others are interested in our area and most of the officials and community leaders here agree. It's only a matter of time before even more companies come calling. Michael Gibson, three news.